Hello, my name is Dermot Cullinan, Product Manager at Molex, managing magnetic jacks, modular jacks and power over ethernet connectors. Today we're talking about the PD jack. It's a power over ethernet integrated PD connector with magnetics. Uh, we're going to first introduce power over ethernet to explain what that is. So power over ethernet defines the transmission of data and power over a standard ethernet network. There's two sides to the power over ethernet. There's the PSE side, power source equipment, which is a router or a switch that has a connector such as this, delivering power to multiple ports. And on the PD side, you've got one port on a device, a power device side, and it's tapping off the power onto the device, such as wireless access points, VOIP phones, surveillance cameras, and maybe specialist devices such as retail displays. Now, as I said, it works on the power device side, and we're going to talk about, you know, first of all, it, can, it has different classes, classes 0 to 4, as defined by the IEEE standard. So the connector is available in five part numbers, class 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 being the max 30 watts, um, and 0 being down around the 3 watts. Uh, customers have difficulty putting power of Ethernet onto their board. There's space iPod issues, EMI issues, layout, getting the power and the data up to the front of that connector. You can do it with your RJ45, separate transformer, and the PD controller and uh, voltage drop-down um, circuitry. Or you can take the PD jack, put that on your board, and it takes care of the magnetics integrated into the connector. The PD circuitry is inside. So we've got a PD controller from a top PUE supplier for the silicone and we also have bridge rectifiers because the power can come down multiple channels so you've got channels pairs 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 5 and 7, 8 and the bridge rectifiers make sure the right power goes to the right circuit on your board. Now the connector comes on an evaluation board to help customers design their circuit. The PD jack is here and you can plug in your power of ethernet network cable in here so this will then deliver power through the PD circuitry that's integrated inside the connector. It taps off onto your power connections here, and you can have a pass-through on a standard gigabit connector here. So you're passing through your Ethernet transmission here. You can test that, and you can tap off your PoE power here. From here, you'll do your drop-down from your PoE voltage of 48 volts to your PoE plus voltage of maybe 54 volts nominal. And you can tap that down to let's say 12 volts, and Molex has a reference design for that 12 volts. So for both your evaluation board, contact your sales engineer or distribution, and for that 12 volt drop down reference design, you can also contact distribution and your sales engineer. For more information, contact molex.com. Thank you.